Also, um, if you don't mind, I'd like to reorder under unfinished business. Uh, there are only two items. Just uh, swap them and make okay. payment. Okay. Under new business, I'd like to reorder item E, item A. <laughs> and if uh, you might come uh, there before we hear the presentation report to the meeting, I'd like just a couple minutes to address the important concern I have with the division. Okay. Commissioner McBoy? I think Commissioner Maxwell covered all my reordinings. <laughs> <laughs> Commissioner Marissa? I'm good. Commissioner Mulvey? Okay. One question I have. Now, when you move F and G, Commissioner Maxwell? Of what item? Of which area? Public hearing nine. And I believe you moved those up to the top. So I can't move. Right. To A and B. Okay. And items. And the next one again. Ten was A and B switch. Unfinished business. Unfinished. He wants to switch A and B. I would like to to move to see if we could move ten A and make it 11F and do the two liaison appointments at the same time. Yeah, that's essentially what we're trying to do. Is that what you do? Okay. It doesn't matter how you do that. If we put them all together, that'd be wonderful. Okay. 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 And I'd like to delete 11B under new business. B is in boy? Mm-hmm. <coughs> Have you talked to the utility director? Yeah, She's going to wonder where to put all that stuff. No, actually, um, there's a couple of, uh, of items that she said that she would like to look at. So I thought we could move it to another time. Okay. Okay. So are we tabling that item to a later date? <coughs> to a later date. Yes, to a later date. Okay, do I have a motion to approve the agenda as amended? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Okay. Item number five, our presentations. Please, Commissioner Mack. Thank you. Um, thank you very much, <coughs> Madam Mayor. For the residents of Lake Worth and our city staff and my fellow commissioners, I believe we can all agree that our city faces many important challenges that will, def that will define how this great city will look, feel, and function as we transition into our second 100 years of existence. Folks, it's been just about a month since the voters made a choice. A choice to either affirm their satisfaction with the direction and the manner in which the city was addressing these important challenges, or in the alternative, a choice to voice a desire for change an alternative vision and new leadership that might better meet the challenges ahead. <coughs> My fellow commissioners, it is quite evident that the people of Lake Worth have been decided on a change, a new, a new vision, and perhaps more importantly, a new leadership approach. And I must tell you that quite frankly, I share that desire for change, and I believe the vision that the voters asked for is the vision that this new commission brings. And I wholeheartedly accept the challenge and the responsibility for our residents and each of you to exercise thoughtful and measured leadership as we craft our city's future. And I honestly believe that each member of this commission strongly accepts that leadership challenge and responsibility as well. With that said, it saddens me to recognize and conclude that with each passing day, it appears evident that our current administration seems incapable of facilitating our citizens' desire for a new vision, or for that matter, any vision other than its own. Therefore, it is with a heavy heart, thoughtful consideration, and a firm resolve that tonight I ask each member of this commission to join with me in thanking the city manager for her service to our city and to wish her nothing but the best of luck for the future as I move to immediately terminate the comment that the contract for the city manager of the city of Lake Worth and respectfully ask that the commission honor the terms of her contract regarding severance compensation and to limit comments from the commission and the public to the specifics of my motion by thanking the city manager for her service. And as the practice has been in the past, designate the finance director, Steve Carr, as acting city manager until we can all convene again to, to discuss the process of naming a new city manager. Madam Chair, I'm looking for a second. Um, Commissioner Mulvey? Yes. 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 Commissioner Mulvey
I mean, the agenda for this evening, so I'm in no place to make a motion for a second a motion. The motion has been made. Is there a second? Second. We have a first by Commissioner Maxwell. We have a second by Commissioner Amoroso. We go to a vote. Is this no. an agenda item? I believe Commissioner Maxwell said that he had um, something to discuss for moving into presentations at the beginning of when you were approving your agenda. Mm -hmm. Are the additions? But uh, this is not on the agenda, right? Yes, exactly. Other than rather informal last minute, and right. is it not? Uh, and this is not a question for the attorney, or the city attorney, but I believe it's been the practice of Commissioner Maxwell in the past to be quite strong, and rightfully so, in asking for backup well in advance mm -hmm. for any decisions, such that the public has an opportunity to comment and give us feedback such that we can make wiser decisions. So I find it uh, really rather out of line after serving up here for a year to have repeatedly heard, hey, we not, can't talk about things that don't have 11 days or 7 days of backup, and then to have this dropped on us and dropped on the public with no advance notice. I do not think that is very consistent with past behavior, nor do I think it is wise. I refer back to this to the attorney. Is it acceptable? Yes, it is. You, the commission can add and discuss anything it wants to on this agenda. So is this motion for an addition to the agenda, or is this motion for your request for termination? My motion is to terminate the city manager immediately. And you can second that. Yes. Any comments, Commissioner mm -hmm. I certainly would like to comment. Um, I, I appreciate Commissioner Maxwell's observation that in the last election there's been a sea change, if you'd like, a change in, in apparent philosophy of, of how to govern the city. Um, and as one of the elected officials, I, of course, go along with that and will add my input to the new members of the commission and try to bring my perspective and make that available to others. Um, when I came onto the commission, I was aware that the city of Lake Worth, I was aware for quite a while, as many of us in the room are, had quite a reputation for not being very well run, that, that if you wanted things done in Lake Worth, it was a challenge to do it. Um, and I've mentioned many times up here that you know all of us have heard, I don't want to be a contractor in Lake Worth, I don't want to do work in Lake Worth, it's a hassle, things don't work well. And what I've noticed when I was elected a year ago is Indeed, it did seem like we lacked procedures. We lacked formal ways of doing things. Things seemed to be very ad hoc and had been that way for quite a while. And uh, that concerned me because it seemed like it was even perhaps a little worse in the past. I'm not talking about when I came out of the commission, but the impression I got of how things ran in city government in the past was in fact worthy of, of some of that reputation. And one of the things that I noticed after being on the commission for a period of time is that I found a very, very strong level of professionalism among the staff that were in place when I came on. I don't know exact dates of when people got here, but I found people who were very professional, had many, many years of experience. I was, in fact, somewhat astounded to see that, that a place as small as Lake Worth was able to attract a level of talent at the level of city manager, at the level of finance person, and that these people were not only talented and experienced, but they were extremely dedicated. If you come around this building late at night, you'll find a lot of those people still here. You come around early in the morning, you'll find them here. And I would very, very strongly caution my fellow commissioners that Yes, it's one thing for there to be a change in the flavor of the city and change commissioners. I think that's fine. It is what it is. But I think it would be very unwise to, at this point, 
throw out staff. I think anybody who has experience with government will tell you that you have two different parts of government at different levels. You have the elected people who come and go and turn over and respect different ideologies and philosophies, and then you have staff, and they kind of carry on and kind of hold the course. And they adjust based on who's elected, but they bring institutional knowledge, they bring knowledge of procedures, they bring, bring things that arise above or separate from ideology. So I think we would be making a very large mistake to uh, terminate the city manager. I, I would say give it a couple months, watch, see as new commissioners, do some of the look, live, and learn, watch, and if you at the end of several months say, you know what, I just can't work with this person, or they don't know beans, or uh, it's not working, fine. But I think it's way too soon to make that decision right now. Thank you. Any other comments from the commission? Thank you. We have a motion. We have a second. Do we go to a vote, City Attorney? We can take public comment. Take public comment. Do we have any comments? I know this was not initially listed. Is there anybody who would like publicly to speak? Madam, if I might. Yes. Um, I 